Good morning, Pisces. This is going to be your reading today. I hope everybody's been doing well. I'm not real talkative in the morning. I always like to make my readings in the morning because um, I have more energy, but then I'm just, it takes me a while to kind of wake up and start talking in the morning, so that's probably a good thing. All right, Energy Oracle, and that one definitely wanted to come out. All right, let me do a Romance Angel card for this one. Let's see what kind of messages we have today, Pisces. Have a big festival over the weekend, next weekend that I've been pre preparing my products for. So I've been really, really tied up with that. And it's taking like a lot of my energy right now. So it's a big one. I really was surprised that they were having it um, with everything going on, but I know it's really hard for me because this shutdown really has made me really, really um, antisocial. So I'm trying to prepare myself to be in a crowd with a lot of people. I'm just not feeling it this year. Very introverted. Come on, I need a Romance Angel card for Pisces. I need a card for Pisces. Romance Angel card, there we go. That one spoke to me. My fortune telling deck and that one turned over that one definitely wanted to come out these are my art oracle cards they're kind of different um, a little bit harder to read but I read intuitively and I listen to my guidance so Pisces I need an art oracle card for Pisces I love reading for Pisces. I look forward to it. All right. Come on. All right. Vampires. And these are my literary witches cards. Sometimes I have to read. Hopefully I can. I need to keep my glasses by me. All right. Come on. So the first card that we have is the Six of Swords. Um, this is a mental energy. And the first thing that came to mind, there was actually two things that actually messages that I got right away. One was almost like sending out an SOS, like a call for help. Um, maybe not, you know, it could be a call for help and it could be... Um, validation seeking, um, looking for someone to um, validate you, validate. Um, <clears throat> this definitely has to do with how you are feeling about yourself right now. Um, Self-doubt, um, maybe some anxiety and some depression coming through. A little self-medication. But definitely trying to get somebody's attention. Um, that is the energy that I'm getting with this card. Um, because it's actually clarified with the Deceit card. Um, so I feel like maybe um, you are not being honest with yourself. Or maybe not even being honest with others. 
it's almost like this passive aggressive energy that I'm feeling and I tend to be passive aggressive too especially if I have um, feelings that I can't process that I don't understand that I don't know how to deal with um, <clears throat> And so many times we reflect onto somebody else, like this is something we, we project it on, reflect on the right word, we project it onto somebody else. Um, and oftentimes it's not really what we're feeling. Um, it can come out as, as anger or um, we can even walk away from a situation just because we don't really know how to deal with it. So you're really being asked right now to really um, process your feelings. Whatever's coming up for you right now, um, really process them. I, I've been learning how to process my feelings. And it's challenging. Like, I literally have to sit with them. Um, and so many times you have to, like, tell yourself, you know, I am not my feelings. These feelings are not me. This is just something that's come up. It's usually um, because something in you has been triggered that has reminded you of something that's happened before. Um, so take a look at it um, and choose to react differently. And we don't always even have to react. Um, there's nothing saying that we have to react. So um, definitely take a look at that and choose to um, handle things differently this time than you have in the past. We have the Five of Cups. So um, you're feeling heart, like your heart has been broken or um, that you've been hurt some, some kind of way. Something has happened. And basically the message that's coming through is that this was all in your interpretation of the events. It's how you interpreted it. Um, it was how your feelings came across and unprocessed feelings that you actually projected onto someone else. And like I said, so many times when this happens, we'll retreat, we'll retreat, we'll be like, oh no, this is, I'm scared, you know, this is something I've experienced before. So I'm really feeling like a lot of fears have come up for you. And this is really related to the past. And this is something that you need to release that has actually um, affected a relationship that you have now. We have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Everything, if you can learn to tell yourself that whatever is happening right now, whatever that is, um, has shown up for a reason and it's here to teach you something. If you can be more teachable, um, so many times we want to be like, I'm just fine the way, way I am. I've been this way for years. You know, this is me. I'm not going to change for anybody. Um, just really a stubborn energy. Um, but understand we're here to learn and experience things. We are divine beings having a human experience and not the other way around. Um, and so the whole purpose of this journey called life is to have these experiences and to experience humanity. And that is what you're doing. Um, so if you can look at each and everything that comes up as an opportunity for more growth and not resist it, um, things will flow a lot easier. And then not just that, but you won't have these hurt feelings because you won't take things so personally. You're taking things very, very personally. Um, we have the Two of Swords. So this is really an inner conflict right now. Um, you know, and then we have, you know, this dog as a companion, you know, because I feel like for a lot of you, you do have pets that you really rely upon for comfort. Um, and if that's the case, do that because that is really how you ground yourself, you know, um, nature, um, pets, um, some people enjoy bird watching. I know I, I love listening to the birds outside my window. Whatever will give you peace that will help you to get out of this mental conflicted energy that you have right now because you're too in your head. Um, and when we get in our heads, we're not present because think about it. When you're doing all that thinking, overthinking and you're, you know, mentally conflicted, you're thinking about the past, you're worried about the future, and you're not present. We cannot create um, our future 
if we're not present right now. Practice presence for a while. Practice being free of your mind and just kind of going with your intuition, what you're feeling right now instead of what you're thinking. Um, that is really um, the guidance that's coming through right now. And we have great fortune. Um, but for you, Pisces, this great fortune for you is not a material gain. You're not a very materialistic person. Um, you really understand um, the meaning of, of life as far as things that um, really count, things that really matter. Um, and so you're really kind of like with this pet here. Um, you're really being asked to kind of um, get back to the basics, the things that really make you happy right now. Because two happy people that come together in a relationship, it's perfect. Because you're not depending upon the other person to make you happy. You're responsible for your own happiness. The other person's responsible for theirs. And you can add to one another's happiness but your happiness is not dependent upon that person. So that is basically the energy that I'm getting with this card. Um, do things that make you happy. Um, the things that do make you feel very wealthy and full of um, life and love. And, um, and like I said, I'm getting for a lot of you, it's, you know, being outdoors. Um, you know, maybe, you know, you're a crafter, you enjoy doing crafts, but whatever those things are that you enjoy doing, do not stop doing those things, especially right now while you are trying to learn more presence. We have the page of staffs. You're being asked to be, um, basically be braver than you've ever been. Um, now understand, there's nothing wrong with, you know, being in her house, being, you know, kind of reclusive and being very introverted. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, spending time with yourself is perfect. But if you are wanting to have um, a meaningful connection with someone or other people, I mean, it could be more than one um, because different people bring different things to your life, you know, so you don't necessarily have to limit yourself. Um, but do not cut yourself off. Um, from this and do not cut yourself off from your feelings. Be very brave and really kind of feel your way through these things and process them um, because growing pains are just that. They're, they're painful um, and you're growing right now. And so um, be patient with yourself and be very loving and accepting of yourself right now. Um, Cara Viago Caraviago, this is the our oracle card. Try to keep violence metaphorical. See, he's got a head right here. This might be how you're feeling right now, Pisces. Adjust your eyes to the darkness. A hand on the shoulders is worth two in the hand. A head on the shoulders is worth two in a hand. Um so, you know, this is what I was saying earlier about some of these unprocessed feelings can show up as anger, um, impatience, you know, passive aggression. Um, so be very aware of that, um, that a lot of times when we're feeling angry, it's because we're feeling things that we don't know how to deal with them. We don't know how to deal with our feelings. So really, um, you're being asked to really learn this about yourself. And to really, like I said, feel them and process them and figure out where they're coming from. Adjust your eyes to darkness. Now, um, everyone has like a dark or shadow side and then they have their light side. And right now what you're doing is you're facing your darkness. This is your darkness that's coming up. And you're kind of facing that and you're accepting it and you're loving yourself in spite of that. Um, because it's part of who you are right now as in the human body that you're in right now, that's part of what you've taken on. That's part of what you're here for. So really look at it and kind of and accept that and love that about yourself and incorporate it and understand that about yourself. Oh, you know, sometimes when I, I get hurt or when I seem to get hurt, and a lot of times it's because of something that was in my head that I thought of, um, I act this way. 
but I'm learning not to act this way. I'm, I'm going to do something different next time. So that is the message I'm getting with that card. And the hand on the shoulders is worth two in the hand. I mean, you know, maybe for some of you, you know, this is how, you know, you show intimacy. Maybe um, you're not much of like a public affection type person. I'm not really like a public display affection person either. You know, so maybe like holding hands in public or so maybe that's not really your thing. But, you know, when you, you're in bed with somebody, you know, maybe this is something you do, a head on the shoulder. Um, and that's all right, too. Um, you have to find somebody who's in alignment with that, somebody who understands that about you and accepts that about you and who, you know, is basically the same way. You know, because so many other times there's people who feel like a display of affection is like a validation, like this person is mine. You know, so um, I don't know. I feel like that message is for somebody. Um, it's not necessary you know, and we don't want to own or possess people. We want people to be free to be themselves or maybe the person that you're with, maybe they're not a public display of affection person and maybe that makes you feel some kind of way. So really take a look at that. Page of Swords. Um, I feel like this is a very defensive energy, really trying to kind of keep the status quo. And like I said, that kind of goes back to what I was saying before. Like, this is how I've always been. This is this is my life. It's how I do it. I do a certain thing every day. Everything has to be the same. And, you know, I, change is tough for me, too. I get, totally get it. I'm totally one of them people, too. Um, and so you're basically trying to maybe even hold on to some of your autonomy, you know, so, you know, in a relationship, a lot of times, you know, we are fearful that we're going to lose things like our freedom or autonomy. Um, make sure that if you are one of these people, and most, a lot of people are, um, that you give the same freedom and respect in return. Because if this is something you want, you don't want to expect someone else to lose their freedom or autonomy. You know, come together where you're just two free souls adding to one another's happiness, understanding that everything's happening the way it's supposed to be happening. If something triggers you, good. Good. If something triggers you, good. Now you can look at it. Now you can face that. You can face your shadow. You can incorporate it and you can do something else next time. Outsider, misfit, loner, wanderer. This is that introvert, that that introverted energy that I was getting of really being uh, very reclusive, wanting to be at home, not wanting to be around others, really feeling like you're misunderstood, that people don't understand you, that you are different. Embrace that. Embrace that you don't have to be like everybody else, and that is perfect. Um, and like I said, the key is to find someone else who, you know, is just as weird as you are. <laughs> You know, and you can just be two weirdos together, adding to one another's happiness. Or you can be alone. I mean, there's nothing saying you have to be in a relationship by any means. You know, some of the happiest moments of my life, I've been by myself, you know, watching the sunset, sitting out under the moonlight, you know, alone, listening to music alone, drinking a glass of wine. There's nothing wrong with that. Whatever it is that... Um, you want to do it's up to you we have the five of coins worrying about your finances when you are not present enough you are not going to have enough money because you have to be present in order to create because remember we're co-creators with the universe and you have to be present to do that, you have to be. That is one of the key components of the law of attraction is that you have to be present. If you're sitting and you're worrying about something that's happened in the past when you didn't have enough money or worried about the future, if you're gonna have enough money, look right now at what you have, look around you and be grateful for what you have right now and be very, very present and watch the money start rolling in. This is key, this is so important. All right, we have the skull card, and everyone who knows me knows I love skulls. 
My next tattoo is going to be a skull. I love skulls. Um, I receive all gifts, nothing but skulls. Transitions, reality, and grief. So yes, you're going through a period of transition right now. And maybe someone is experiencing grief or loss of a loved one. Or maybe even, um, maybe even a pet for somebody. Because I, there's like this pet presence in this reading. Um, but some type of transition. And this also could be those growing pains that I was talking about that are coming up. Um, growing pains are just that. They're painful. And we want to transition. Nobody wants to stay stagnant. Nobody wants to stay exactly where they are. Um, it's all about growth. So with that being said, um, continue growing, Pisces. Continue growing. You are doing a great job. Um, a lot of times we look at things, we're like, this is bad and this is good. But if it's taking you to where you need to be at, how is it bad? It's just like a stepping stone. And you know what? The journey is the destination, Pisces. So with that being said, thank you for watching your video.